child maintenance, is it compelable or voluntary? The question of the compatibility of a child maintenance is one that many demand answers to. The laws regarding children born in a marriage and the laws regarding children born outside of marriage do differ. Can a father be compelled to pay for, a child, for child maintenance of a child he did not want? This is, what, this is a great question. What is child maintenance? Child maintenance is an ongoing periodic payment made by a parent for the financial benefits of a child following the end of a marriage or any other relationship. Child maintenance is paid directly or indirectly by an obligor to an oblig obligee for the care and support of the children of a relationship that has been terminated, or in some cases, never existed. Parents generally have the responsibility to take care of their children and provide all they need to live. However, there are also instances where parents have failed to adequately provide for their children financially. As a result, many parents and guardians have turned to the courts or law enforcement authorities to enforce a child or guardian support order. The object of a maintenance order is to protect and safeguard the welfare and well-being of the children of the marriage or children born outside of a marriage. Its purpose is to ensure that a child has the financial security and protection that he or she requires. Can a father who did not want the child be compelled to pay child maintenance? Yes, he can. Children born outside of a marriage are usually on the wrong ladder of the society in terms of maintenance. Most times, they are faced with denial and in some cases, outright abandonment by one or both parents. They are most often denied the necessary financial maintenance required by either of the parents. Nonetheless, Section 14.2 of the Child Rights Act states that every child has a right to maintenance from his or her parents or guardians in proportion to their financial capabilities and that the child has the right to pursue this right in family court in proper circumstances. The law compels parents of children to ensure the proper maintenance of their children. In a situation where the mother of the child does not need financial help from the father to take care of the child, the father does not need to pay child maintenance. Nonetheless, in a situation where she needs help, the father can be compelled to pay child maintenance as he is under an obligation by the law to take care of the child. In such a case, the child can apply, can apply to the welfare department of any state, which will in turn apply to the fam family court. For an order of the maintenance, in Lagos State, the criminal code law of Lagos State makes it a crime for a parent or a guardian to fail to provide for maintenance. By the combined provision of sections 206 and 207 of the Criminal Code Law of Lagos State 2015, which states that it is the duty of every person as a head of a family or has charge of a child being a member of his household to provide the necessities of life for such child and he is held to have caused any consequences which result to the life or health of any person because of any omission to perform that duty. Thus, a child who is denied necessary maintenance can make a formal report to the relevant law agencies to enforce this right. For instance, there are instances where a single mother will be unable to get financial assistance from the father of her child. It is usually advisable that a single mother who has found herself in such a situation should take full advantage of the section and help and seek help at the gender section of the police command cadre, Lagos, for example, for immediate prosecution. Finally, the position of the law is clear on the matter at hand. A father is compelable under the Child Rights Act 2003, criminal law of Lagos State, to pay for child maintenance regardless of whether he wanted that child or not. What is your opinion? <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely you have know. to go first on this one. Come for you. you. Come for you. Go yeah. first then. <laughs> because I'm a, because I'm a lawyer, and um, uh -huh. um, I, for me, what just jumped out for me here is that the man again is the one, uh, you know, put front and center with um, the fight for equality and gender rights. Here, I think what we also need to do is to make it um, level. Uh, a level playing field. Um, it needs to, th that probably needs to be reworked also. So it's not just the man, it's also the woman. And any one of them can be made to, it can be compelled. So if the woman has 
then she should be made to pay also. If it's the man that has, then he should be made to pay, not um, one-sided. I think for me, that was what, you know, um, um, stood out for me the most. Now that we are, you know, playing this level playing field, it should apply to maintenance for children. Mm -hmm. Over. Thank you. All right. Oh, okay, for me, right. Um, I think for me, what is worrying is the level of illiteracy that I'm starting to realize that many of us are suffering from. I can admit here that I didn't even know that we had the laws, laws right, True. that compels yeah. a father to pay for maintenance for his child. Mm -hmm. I know loads of single women, right, or, you know, I mean, right now it's not balanced. I know loads of single women who have had to struggle for years alone and they didn't know that they had, you know, the yeah, right. recourse to the law. Mm -hmm. And you see, this thing is consistent in everything that affects us as Nigerians. We we have no awareness of the laws that protect us in employment, in marriage, mm -hmm. in ch children, just name it. So I think for me, right, we really need to start to change the curriculum of our schools. True. Somewhat, I don't know at what level, because it, information is, they say knowledge is power. But you can't even have, how do you act, how do you fight for what, b b what is your right when you don't even know? Mm -hmm. I didn't know, I can admit, I didn't know until this session. Yeah. So this is new information that I'm going to now start to, Put out yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely agree. You know, which is why I'll add a little to what you just the, the quote. You know, the quote has been updated a bit, so it's now applied knowledge is power. Yeah. Because guess what? The knowledge is there, but then we don't have it. We don't, you know, application, right? Applied knowledge is power because there's the knowledge. I've never heard. I mean, this is the first I'm hearing of this. Like you said, I know loads of single mothers mm -hmm. that struggle year in year yes. out, you know, to feed their children, mm -hmm. and their fathers are actually in a place in a better position to actually provide yeah. this, you know, um, the basic support. necessities of life. Yeah. But they don't even realize that they can seek, you know, redress in court. But hey, there's also the part where you go to court, you know, do you actually get those injunctions and then are they enforced, mm. right? Because, yeah, so they don't know. So when they now know, and they now make, the, you know, the decision to, you yeah. know, yeah. to take that step, do they actually get the redress? Mm. Yes, you yeah, know, I, think, I think. The other question, yeah. sorry, quickly, okay. is, I don't understand the part where they say, the man that did not want the child, <laughs> but that's a whole and that's, that's, a whole, that's, that's a whole different conversation. That's, that's right. the whole essence of this, yeah, of this yeah. conversation. What is that? Maybe you can help us as a lawyer. What does that mean? I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, a man. I'm a man, I don't know what it means. You're taking a risk. At the point where you're doing certain things, you know right. there's the possibility of, of this exactly. happening. Right. So whatever the outcome is, if you, if you say you don't want it, and yeah. the mother of the child says, I want it, I'm yes. not willing to risk my life to go through mm -hmm. an abortion yeah at which is point, illegal i guess exactly it's at the point, Nigeria, yeah, at the point okay. where you are you are having that um, conversation you should know that whatever <laughs> happens you have so a responsibility yeah. it's no longer i don't want it it's yes. now we yes. it, go, it exceeds just your One own person. decision yeah. and also just to reply to comfort the reason why it might sound like they are going after men is because in nigeria especially you That's have welcome too many single mothers. You have situations where it is m just the women that cater for these children all their lives and the men are having kids by different women and not caring whatever it is that happens mm. to the child. So mm. that is why it might sound a bit like the law is enforcing it more on the men than the yeah. women because it is what is rampant in our state, yeah. and we can't deny that. And I think in addition to that... And I get that, and um, I... I I honestly understand that, but I think for me also more important than the finances. So that for me, honestly, I'm sorry if the man is not ready to do it. I am more interested in the um, emotional well-being of, of the, the child. child. Mm. Now, when these maintenance um, custody battles come up, it's not even the parents that go through this. From it's the children, and because we live in a patriarchal society as it is, let us face it. In the long run the men tend to get away with this. So I, I, I normally would advocate to single men that, look, honestly, if you can take care of your child, leave him, let him do what he wants. But for the health of your own child, is there a way you can have a relationship for, for your child? Yeah. Because we're also growing up with a lot of children who have daddy issues. Yeah. But and comfort. So, so for me, it's the balance. You yeah. know, do you want the money or do you want the emotional, comfort. You see what you're talking about. psychological health? You know, so yeah, uh, what you're talking about is actually the crux, and like you're saying, men who don't want for me, that is what I was going to talk about the irresponsibility of certain men. Mm -hmm. Because, how can you get a woman pregnant and you say you don't want the child? Listen, even if you have all the problems in this world with the mother, as long as you're the father of that child, go for your DNA tests, and you know that this is your child, you do not have a choice but to take care of that child. 
Because if you're not able to take care of your child, what you're saying in essence is that if you were to see somebody in your area who is dyingly in need of help, you would not help that person. That's what you're saying. And you are more of a curse to the society than any other thing. But, but, in, a, <laughs> but in a situation where maybe they used protection for some reason, protection failed, yeah. it goes beyond and he knows that he can't financially be able to afford it. But that's a different thing. Can such a person be held liable to provide when they know you don't have money to do it? I mean, you will be held. The little you have, you must contribute. Exactly, from that. that's it. So, yeah. let's bring you home then. <laughs> Tolu is next after this break.